Do you believe that unemployment is at an all-time low? Or do you feel something is definitely off in this job market since it's so hard to find a job right now? Let's quickly define this unemployment rate. According to the Economic Policy Institute, the unemployment rate measures the share of workers in the labor force who do not currently have a job, but are actively looking for work. People who have not looked for work in the past four weeks are not included in this measure. Meaning, if you have been searching for a job or anyone for longer than four weeks, they are being excluded from the unemployment rate number, which is very, very deceiving. So although we think things are amazing in this economy around the world, the unemployment rate is low, but it's not an accurate representation of those job seekers that are still on the market and might have taken a break from their job search. They're not actively applying. They're exhausted from applying to so many jobs and getting no result, not having success. It is draining. So just keep in mind, even though a statistic says something, it might not be accurate. So do not fall into that trap of just listening to that one statistic. If you're new to this channel, I'm Rita Baruti, career success coach and recruiter. I'm also LinkedIn's top recruiting voice. My mission is to empower you through your job search, through your career, to help you make the best decisions and to land a job faster. Please subscribe and let me know what you think about this video, especially about this statistic. Now let's talk about the real reason why it's so hard to find a job right now. When I'm speaking to C-suite executives, partners in law firms, accounting firms, the ones that know the insider knowledge of what's happening in the economy, they're very close to all the details. They are telling me that everyone is just hesitating. There's so much uncertainty that it's hard to keep hiring when the future is uncertain. That does not mean that you're not a great candidate. What it means is, the hesitancy and the uncertainty as it is at an all-time high, all-time high. It's never been higher before. It's, it's super, super high right now. And just think of the psychological impact of a company. They are looking at their bottom line. Okay, if we hire another professional, we don't even know if we're growing. Well, that's going to negatively affect our income, our net income, our bottom line. And we have to report to investors. Now that's just the reality of it. The reality is the uncertainty, the war that's happening in the world, the evilness that's happening, the presidential election, who knows what's going to happen with that. It's not making people feel comfortable at the highest level. It's making them feel a lot of discomfort. So even if the intention is we would love to hire someone, now we're hesitating because this just happened in the world. This just happened in the election. This just happened in the presidential debate. We don't know what is going to happen in the next three months. How can we hire someone? We don't want to then lay them off. Now, I don't want to take away that there are a lot of bad apples in the hiring process. There could be companies posting jobs that are fake. They are ghost jobs. Those are unfortunately going to happen in the job market. Now, there has been an increase in those, but Let's not take away, there's so much uncertainty. That is the number one reason why it's so hard to find a job. And I'm telling you this because when I'm helping professionals in my job search optimization program, these professionals, most of the time, have a solid skill set, have years of experience, have great recommendations, and there just aren't as many opportunities, real opportunities in the job market. Now you might be wondering, hey Rita, if the uncertainty as it is at an all-time high, is it still possible that I can land a job? Yes, it is very possible and you can be very successful with your job search. You have to avoid though using stale dated strategies and that means do not apply to hundreds of jobs and expect that you're going to land one. There are other strategies that you need to leverage to be successful, especially during a very, very uncertain time. If you're tired of getting rejected by employers and ready to land your next great opportunity faster, I've put together a free guide that walks you through the exact steps you need to take to land that job faster for you to be identified as that best candidate 
comment, guide, and I will send you a direct link to grab it. And one of those strategies includes optimizing your LinkedIn profile. And what this means is optimizing each section of your profile so you can be found by recruiters and hiring companies who are actually hiring versus you applying to jobs and hoping for the best. A better strategy is you being found, you having conversations with hiring companies, assessing opportunities that come to you through LinkedIn. Another statistic I would like for you to be aware of is that there is a correlation between transactions occurring in the marketplace, such as mergers, acquisitions, IPOs, SPACs. Back a couple of years ago, back in 2021, there was a huge uptick. You saw there were so many jobs available and not enough people. And now it has reversed. And just to give you some numbers in regards to the stats around this activity. Back in 2021, this is according to Statista, back in 2021, M&A transactions were at 58,308 worldwide. 2022, 50,763. 2023, 39,603. As of May of this year, 2024, there's only been 13,000 176 transactions. What does this mean? There is so much uncertainty. No one wants to take the action to acquire a company, to merge a company, to continue to grow. And that affects the job market. When there aren't as many transactions, there aren't as many opportunities. And that's going to be the case for the next, maybe the next few months until this presidential election. We're not sure. But what is really, really important during any challenging times is that you need to be that top candidate and do things that other candidates are not doing and using real strategies that will get you real results. Now you know the real reason why it's so hard to find the job, but I also wanted to quickly discuss the items that occur regardless if there's uncertainty in the economy, regardless if there is no trust in the growth or where the economy is going. There could be, again, fake jobs, ghost jobs posted. There could be a recruiter, a hiring company that just doesn't get to all of the applications. That happens. Another item that typically exists in the job market, regardless of whether there is uncertainty in the economy, is some hiring companies have very, very unreasonable expectations, unreasonable requirements for the job, and they're expecting someone to have every single skill set in order to be successful at this job, when that's not the reality of it. But unfortunately, there are hiring companies, managers, recruiters that don't see someone's potential. They are very close-minded. You really want to work for someone, a company who's open-minded, that sees your potential versus expecting every skill set. They want to just tick off every skill set on your resume, during the interview. It's unfortunate, but that is the reality of it. That does exist in the job market and it will exist as long as human beings, there are some that are just close-minded. It's going to be part of that job market, part of the process, unfortunately, but that's okay. That does not mean that there aren't hiring companies that are open-minded and open to hiring someone who has very high potential. Now, if you're ready to stop applying, check out my next video, Stop Applying to Jobs to Land Your Next Opportunity.